But speaking of killing things, um, <laughs> Marvel, what a segue. as you know, it, listen, I know what else to do. So, you know, I tried to, they kill us. Tried to get us, tried to get us over there, you know, uh -huh. um, Marvel, as you know, is killing off Kang and TMZ spoke to Jonathan Majors about it. Because Jonathan Majors was playing Kang. The Conqueror, he's, yep. And he said he's heartbroken. But Dr. Mm -hmm. Doom is still. Yeah. That's what he said. I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, the day gotta end. And I just feel like, I feel like, Sometimes you find yourself in a situation where you can't come back from certain things. Um, I know that we've been told that it's not simply just that he had his legal issues. Also, the Marvel is also trying to move in another direction. Um, this was also, we talked about Robert Downey Jr., um, being Dr. Doom, so I feel like this was also an easy way for Marvel, and y'all could correct me if I'm wrong, no, not too much on me and Marvel, okay guys? Um, but I, I also feel like just from a st strategic standpoint, it's probably it was probably really easy to be like oh, we were trying to figure out what to do with Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> we, know he, we know we want him back, we know he wants to come back. What do we do, what do we do here? This feels, this, this feels very much like um, a kill two birds with one stone type of situation that happened. Like, it's unfortunate for him, um, but it, fe it feels like in the end, like it worked out for who it was supposed to work out for. Supposed to is not my opinion. I'm just saying it worked out for the players that were at play. Um, and that's Marvel and Robert Downey Jr., not Jonathan Majors. Um, so, you know, I think that Jonathan Majors will move a little different um, going forward. I also think that if they do a Soul Train revival, I think that Jonathan Majors, as we've seen, he loves to dance. And I think that Jonathan Majors um, might might have a job there. I don't know who's bringing it back. But if they bring back Soul Train, he gonna be the one starting the Soul Train line. Mark my words. Mark my words. All right. So, no, no thoughts on what Jonathan Major has said, though. I said, I'm, I, I, listen, I, I said what I said about his situation. I okay, understand. But my point is, I'm trying to say that I understand that he's heartbroken, but the circumstances are what they are. Um, it's unfortunate that he's heartbroken. I mean, what I don't. I'm sorry if I didn't show enough compassion to the words that he used. Oh, but, I don't care. If you you hate what he said. I just would like to know, you know, what you thought about what he said. I thought about what he said. I just, of course. I mean, he was riding high when things went left. Correct. He was on a huge, on a, on a, <laughs> on a trajectory, tra trajectory to be one of the biggest stars. Correct. And so heartbroken seems like an appropriate reaction to having your character replaced or done away with. It's not even, it's not even, it's not even a, the character, is, he wasn't even technically replaced. Correct. So, I get the heartbreak in that. I get the loss in that. Um, that's not... That's not lost on me. But I just feel like the circumstances are what they are, and so he has to pivot. Um, and that's why I'm saying, I think that there are, I know I made the joke about Soul Train, but I think that there are opportunities that will be there for Jonathan Majors. I just, Marvel is not one of them. Not, not right now, at least. Not right now. 
So I agree. It is um, I think I think Jonathan Majors probably shouldn't have answered that phone call um, when TMZ called. But I think Jonathan Majors probably shouldn't have did a lot of things he's done lately. I think it's on uh, purpose. You think, I think what? I think it's on purpose. I think it's all a part of the plan. I think, oh, him saying he's heartbroken and then that going viral. You know how many people say things to TMZ that don't go viral? A lot. I think I I think this is all a part of a plan to get him back or at least get him to a level that he can be satisfied with. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he is Kang when they kill off Kang. Because that, that shouldn't be coming out until twenty twenty six. So you know, his his timeout, his little timeout might be over by then. Oh, of course. But uh I don't, I don't know if he's heartbroken or not. I'm sure he had to get some kind of paycheck to end all of this. Clearly, it's not going to make up for the many millions he was going to make as Kang, but he got something. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, I do expect him to bounce back, but I don't know when. I think he's going to have to take a timeout, a TV timeout, before he can come back. Honk, honk again. And um, I... I I think he's trying to save face by saying Doom is dope. Dr. Doom is dope. Yeah. That's yeah. all I got. He can't say, I mean, if you want it back, you can't you can't <laughs> disparage him or you can't say something bad. You gotta come right. at least. I don't know that he necessarily is gonna come back to Marvel specifically, but we know who owns Marvel, and so you wanna stay in, you know, mouse ears. Good graces. Yeah. Yeah. When the mouse is in charge, listen. And the mouse is in charge of a lot of things. Correct. House of mouse. Mm-hmm.